Your MyLabs X2 transponder has arrived. The next step is to activate your transponder. I'm going to go through that process. Let's start out just by looking in the box and let's see what we have in the box. We have a transponder mounting bracket that's used to put the transponder on your vehicle. It makes it easy to take it on and off the vehicle. We have a USB cable, a race key, that's a little chrome device, transponder that has a seven digit number on the face of it, and a quick start guide. If you have a direct power transponder, you're going to find two more cables plus the race key mount. We're going to ignore that for now because whether you're direct power or rechargeable, this process is the same. We want to go to the mylaps.com webpage and register our transponder. So I'm going to jump over to mylaps.com and if you do not have an account, you're going to click sign up and create an account. If you already have a mylaps account, let's click log in and let's log into our account. Once logged into the account, you see the button for register transponder. So we're under my products and then register transponder. I'm going to click on register transponder and put my transponder number in. Then I'm going to click register transponder. Now is when that activation period has started. So if I had a one year transponder, that period has started now. We're prompted to download MyLabs Connect. I already have it installed, so I'm just going to click already installed. If you don't have MyLabs Connect, Click the download MyLabs Connect, get it installed because that's the next step we're going to do is to run that software. I'm going to close out of this and I'm going to run MyLabs Connect. Find your MyLabs Connect, you may need to go to Start, All Programs, MyLabs Sports Timing Group, and then find MyLabs Connect. The software opens and we're going to put in our email from our MyLabs account and our password and then click login. Here we see the transponders that we have registered to our account and our directions say to connect RX2 race key. Take the USB cable out of the box, connect it to the computer. The other end of that USB cable will go into the bottom of the race key. The race key is the little chrome device. It has a rubber flap door on the bottom of it and you'll see a micro USB connection there. Let's plug in the race key. It says transferring subscription. If our race key needed an update, which it is possible that MyLabs will do an update on these race keys, you would see a button right below here that says to do an upgrade. And you would just click that button, do the upgrade, follow the instructions on your screen. When the update is complete, you'll see that uh, you're back to this state here. Now that the subscription file has been transferred to the race key, we need to connect the race key to the transponder. Before we do that, let's take a look at this red bar under our transponder. The red bar is an indicator to you that the transponder is not activated and is not ready to use. I'm going to take the race key and slide it into the back of the transponder now. In doing so, we saw a green bar come around our transponder, meaning it is the current transponder the race key is communicating to. Our red bar went away and shows us that we're activated and ready to use. If you were to need a upgrade to your transponder, you will see a button here that says to do a, a firmware upgrade. Just click that and follow through the instructions. Notice the green bar at the bottom of each box. This is called the status bar. If there were a problem with your race key or transponder, this bar would be red and you would see a description of the problem inside the status bar. Both of the status bars here are green, so we know that all is good. We see that our battery on our transponder has less than one day of charge and we see that the transponder is going to expire here August 5. If I were to add more time to this transponder, add more subscription, I would run this process again and that would give me an updated subscription date. If you notice on your transponder, your light on top of the transponder should be blinking red slowly. On the race key, you're going to see three blue lights. Anytime that your race key is plugged into the computer and you're running MyLabs Connect, those lights will always be blue. If you were to close MyLabs Connect and look at your race key, you should see the center light be bright green, which indicates your transponder is activated. You should see the checkered flag light on the race key blinking red, which indicates it's charging. Within four hours, that light will be solid green. And then the light closest to the USB cable would be green. But again, while we're running MyLabs Connect, the all three lights on the race key will be blue. That's all we got to do to get this transponder ready to go to the race charge it or use your direct power and you're ready to go.